So we're at McLaren Glasgow. We've just had a run in the 675 LT and what a machine. It's just looking absolutely exceptional, isn't it? It's just unbelievable. So you can see the, um, the engine compartment is completely covered in carbon fibre and the sides. And we've got the titanium exhaust is just starting to go purple. It looks absolutely fantastic. Wow, what a machine. I can't wait for it to come back to our place. It's going to hopefully be delivered next week. So we'll do a full run through of the car then. But the other thing that I noticed, which I really liked is people are incredibly interested in it when you're driving it on the road. I love the, uh, the light alloy wheels because they show both the, the silver calipers and the carbon ceramic brakes off really well. And then I also like the amount of carbon that's being used on this car. You can see it, it literally goes all the way around the car, including these vent covers here. Absolutely beautiful. And one of the things that I didn't really get to see inside the showroom was the fact that because the showroom's darkish, although you can see that it's carbon, you don't see the contrast between the, the stealth black paint and the, the carbon fibre sills and front um, bumper and rear bumper and it just you see it really clearly when you're when you're out so you can see all the carbon fiber and the way that it uh, starts at the top of the bumper just under the the lights and moves all the way down to the diffuser it's just fantastic and then as you saw on the other side all the sills here and the air vent also is all done in carbon fiber and as you move round to the front, the whole of the front spoiler is carbon fibre and the splitters, splitters just absolutely sets the car off. It looks incredibly mean. I have to say, it's like really, it's not really black, so stealth black is obviously a name that McLaren have given it, but it does look stealth. I mean, it's just an extraordinary machine. What is the roll bar actually so attached to? It's actually to the frame itself, yeah, is it? Yeah, so it's a tit tit full titanium roll hook, to right. as light as possible. Um, so this is part of the, the Club Sport Professional package that right. this car has. These seats don't recline, do they? They're, no, they're they fixed, don't. These are they're fixed, fixed, fixed yeah, back, okay, carbon okay. backed racing seats. Yes. Um, specified in this car. And you'll see also on the, the floor in the car, it's all carbon fibre. Ah, that's okay. Four. And right <laughs> down your central tunnel as well. Yeah, that's I saw the carbon. central tunnel, but the floor's actually carbon fibre. Yeah, the floor's actually carbon fibre, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is unique to the 675 that, that, LT. Okay. So that's actually part of the monocell. Um, so your car has also got the extended carbon fibre package. Right. Um, so you can see we have carbon fibre uh, on our door cards here as well. Um, carbon fibre right down our central tunnel. Right. Carbon elements to the steering wheel. Okay. These beautiful extended carbon fibre um, paddle shifters. Oh, nice. um, again, which we, we brought out with the, with the LT. Right. Um, We've also got carbon fibre uh, around our door release area here as well. Didn't um, notice that last time. And yeah, right, and okay. I, as I pointed out as well, the carbon fibre um, on the on natural four, which is part of the carbon fibre carbon monocell. Fibre. Yeah, right, got you. Um, we've got the upgraded Meridian DSP, which is the, the surround sound system in the car as well. Okay. Um, so you can see we've got is there a difference? I mean, you know... Do you the standard you system's a Meridian system anyway. So it's um, pretty so good. So it is a good sound yeah. system as standard, um, but this 10-speaker system, and it's just that that bit better. Right, uh, okay. I would say you can adjust all the um, the, the treble and the bass, etc. Right. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a fantastic, fantastic sound system. Okay. Um, Looking down here, um, so if we start with this area here, this is called our Active Dynamics panel, so the ADP. Right. Um, so you see right in the centre we've got our engine start stop button. Right. Um, so as long as your foot's not in the brake, if I press it once, and then that brings the system to life, and then okay. if I press it again, and you'll see that brings okay. um, the dash to life. Right. So now we've got that one, um, it also brings up your iris system here. 
The first thing we talked about. I was calling about. it the ISIS system. The ISIS system. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the, I, Iris. Iris. Iris yeah. I, thought, I thought that wasn't such a good choice. Like, <laughs> That's it. Iris system. IR <laughs> Iris. So, <laughs> so this is getting the most up to date. I system, won't make that mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's not the first time I've heard that actually. Fair enough. I've heard okay. that a few times. <laughs> um, so in normal mode in, on our left hand dial for the handling, um, if we switch it to sport, the car's got what they call PCC, which is Proactive Chassis Control. So it's a hydraulic suspension system, right? which means you don't need any front or rear anti-roll bars, which saves weight. Right. Remember this car's only 12-30 kilos dry weight, which is outstanding for a car with so much power. Yes. 700 Newton meters of torque, 666 brake horsepower, yeah. 675 metric horsepower, hence right. the, the name 675LT. Yep. Um, so if, if you switch this into sport mode, that will stiffen up the suspension um, and switch it into track mode, it will stiffen the suspension even Again. more so. Right, okay. Essentially, each damper is interlinked, yep. um, so the, the oil won't flow as freely if you select sport or track mode, which means if you're cornering, for example, very hard into a left-hand turn, right. then the left-hand side of the car will go very stiff and it means you're going to be able to corner with maximum speed and minimal roll. Right. Um, so a very advanced okay. suspension setup derived from Formula One and it works fantastically in this car. Right. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got a, a dual clutch, seven speed dual clutch um, gearbox. Yeah, it right. um, it's a phenomenal system, we can call it the SSG system, so a seamless shift gearbox. Right. Um, and as I say, as you as you change it between your normal sport and track modes, you'll find out just how competent the system is. It's phenomenal, okay. it's, it's right. absolutely incredible. Um, another thing to note down here, uh, you can see we've got the, the orange light illuminated already for aero, um, is the yeah. active aerodynamics in the car. Yeah, it doesn't so, doesn't help your rear view. <laughs> that's it. I, I, put, I put that up for effect in the showroom, but we pop that down. Um, yeah, I think I think if, again, what would you? Why would you have that? I mean, sorry, it looks lovely. Yeah, but why would you generally have that? Active in aero essentially increases the car's stability overall. Right. Um, so it's constantly measuring um, your steering angle, okay. um, your acceleration, your braking, and it will effectively use the aero where necessary to okay. increase the car's overall stability. Right. From a safety perspective, um, the car will automatically, if someone was to pull out in front of you and you had to jam the brakes on, even if you didn't have aero selected, the air brake's going to automatically right. flick up to right. increase drag and, and slow you down as quick, quickly if as possible. If you were on a track, yep. would you tend to have it set up or would, would you let it do its own thing? I would have it in aero mode on you track, would. yeah. Okay. Just to, and it, it, as I say, it will measure your steering angle and everything like that. There's so many sensors on this car that are measuring so many different pieces of information, etc putting them all together and then finding out what will work best um, for the car, okay. both in terms of your suspension, your, your, your actual active aero, um, yeah. brakes, steer, everything like that, so it's, it's okay. a phenomenal system. Mm. Next button is, you see is, is your launch control, yep. um, so you see on your right hand screen here um, we've got oil, water and fuel gauges. Yes. So oil and water, you want them to be almost at 50% pretty much, so right in the, right the centre there. Right. When they're in the centre that means your oil's at the correct temperature, your okay. water's at the correct temperature, okay. and that's when it will allow you to do launch control. Okay. Um, so everything will have to be uh, at, at the correct temperature to allow you to do a launch. Okay. Um, to, to, to do a launch, you'll press this button in, it will come up on your screen yeah. um, telling you that you've selected launch control, and you have to put your left foot hard on the brake, right. your right foot flat on the throttle. Flat on the throttle. Yep. And it will build the revs up. <laughs> it will hold the revs and it will, it will, it will essentially spill your, your um, turbos and right. it will come up with a little boost gauge and it will then give you a countdown timer on your left hand screen right. and if you don't take your left foot off the brake after so long it will essentially cancel it just to right. protect so the car's so engine. So the countdown is for you to take countdown your foot off you the brake? Right. foot off the brake, yep. Okay. Um, and it will automatically go from first into second gear for you because right. obviously the car's picking up pace so quickly. So zero to 60 in this car's 2.8 seconds, is really? which is just um, mind-blowingly yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible, it really well, is. for a two-wheel drive car? Oh, it's unbelievable, it really yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, that's, um, that's how they manage that with, with the traction it. just oh, on the rear wheels, I have no idea. Unbelievable, it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, and as you know, your car's got the, the Pirelli P0 tyres as well specified on it, yeah. which um, for, for UK edition, uh, conditions especially in Scotland, <laughs> uh, with, uh, with the rain, thankfully no, down, our, down in London as well, <laughs> um, then, then I think Pirelli P0s are probably the best all-rounders. We've got McLaren track telemetry, so you've got track telemetry as standard on the 675LT, however your car has the upgraded system, so you've also got three cameras on your car. So we've got one up here, 
front. We've got one on the front bumper, yep. and we've got one in the rear bumper. Okay. What we'll do is that additional MTT port, which I pointed out earlier, yes. which stands for McLaren Track Telemetry, right. you plug a USB in there, and that will record any of your lap times, etc. Right. Uh, so all your track telemetry, and it will also use your three cameras to, to record your actual onboard track footage, oh, um, which is a really nice system. Yeah, you absolutely. simply remove the USB, plug it into your laptop, laptop. computer, etc., and, and it will bring up your all your data, brings up your speed, your rev counter. How does it know what track you're on? I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so so yeah. what we'll do if we select that just now, and unfortunately we're not really near a track being here, but um, <laughs> what we do, so manage drivers, <laughs> right? And it will allow you to input your driver name. Okay. Um, so we, we will have access to that. So we've got one I'd, which I put on the other day, which is just driver at the moment. Okay. Um, so if we can back out, what we do is start a track day. Right. Now it says, you see, start recording, pick a track, track. flat reference options, choose, choose driver. driver. Okay. okay. Right, okay. And then it will allow, just, allow us to select all the sort of major UK racing tracks, etc. Okay. Or if you're in Europe, European tracks. Um, also here you'll okay. see rear camera. Oh right, okay. So your car's got front and rear sensors and rear camera. Right. So if I press rear camera. Do you have <coughs> to manually do that? Or if you go into reverse? If you select it, reverse it will automatically come up. But that's just another option if you were parked up, etc. and you gotcha. wanted to be it. Okay. So you can see our nice 570S in the background. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> Um, right behind, so we don't want to reverse that. That's it, we don't want to reverse that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a very, I think it's a very driver focused cabin, oh, it's yeah, very it's minimalistic and it, I, I feel as if everything is in the right place and um, everything's within reach as well sort of thing. So it's um, Everything's nice beautifully thing be um, finished as well, so, I mean, yeah, yeah, stunning. It's so tactile and it's just... It. And it's bespoke. Yes, yep. And when you're actually on track and things you'll notice as well, the fact it's a mix of uh, Alcantara and leather. Mm. Um, this is the perforated leather. Um, right. it, it means you're not going to move around in the seat at all either. It's, no, it's, no, it's very, uh, very supportive. And by the time you've got, obviously, we've got the, the harnesses here, etc. as well. You've you're got not, you're not going anywhere, are you? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> you're, uh, you'll be fixed in nicely. Very smart. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you'll be sorry to see this car go. Yeah, it's a beautiful car, but you'll, you'll enjoy it. You'll, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll absolutely love it. Uh,